Welcome to CAD Networks version 2.5, tutorial 3, overriding a design. In this tutorial, we will learn how to override the design specifications. We will begin by opening the tutorial 2 layout. We do this by selecting File, then clicking Open, and finally choosing Tutorial 2 from the list of files. We now need to change the Equipment Costing Database to the one we made in Tutorial 2. We do this by selecting it from the drop-down list. Once this is done, calculate the new cost by clicking the Estimate Cost of Current Layout button. In this example, we are going to override the values for the Complete Mix Activated Sludge process. Right-click on that process and select Edit Complete Mix Activated Sludge parameters from the pop-up menu. Next, click on the Design Override tab and check the Override Design checkbox. On this tab, we will change the tank width to 15 meters, the excavation depth to 2 meters, and the number of tanks to 4. Click Accept when all changes have been made. We are now going to move on to the secondary clarifier where we right click and select Edit Secondary Clarifier Parameters from the pop-up menu. To make changes to the design, we choose the Design Override tab and check the Override Design checkbox. In this case, we will change the excavation depth from 4 feet to 9 feet. Click Accept to save these changes. Having made these changes, we will click the Estimate Cost of Current Layout button and note the changes that have happened by excavating deeper. In this example, we see a $700,000 cost savings by digging deeper due to fewer building materials being used. We also want to specify a new price for a belt filter press, so we right-click on the process and select Edit Belt Filter Press Parameters from the pop-up menu. Under the Equipment tab, there are two sizes of belt filter presses, and in order to find out which one is being used, we need to view the costing details. To get this information, we click the Details of Cost Estimate, and under the Layout section, scroll down to Belt Filter Press. Select this process and look under the Design Information section. Under the Belt Filter Width, we can see that the 2 meter version was used. With this information, go back to the Belt Filter Press Parameters window, and under the Equipment tab, check the Override Database Costs checkbox. In this example, we will change the 2 meter belt filter press to $300,000 and write Tutorial 3 Example in the notes. We do this to remind us of why we changed this value. Click Accept to save changes to the price alteration. To see the results, we click the Estimate Cost of Current Layout button and note the updated cost bar. Sometimes it is necessary to alter the factors of safety for certain systems. In this example, we will make these changes to the blower system. We select Model from the taskbar and click on Blower System. We then change the factor of safety to 1.0 and click Accept to save the changes. We are now going to check what changes have been reflected in the details of our layout. We do this by clicking the Details of Cost Estimate button. Next, we scroll down to Blower System and click once to bring up the details. Under the Design Information, take note that the minimum airflow capacity is the same as the requested airflow capacity. This is due to the factor of safety of 1.0. We are now going to override the cost parameters associated with the primary clarifier. Right click and select Edit Cost Override Parameters from the pop-up menu. Check the Override Annual Maintenance Cost checkbox and type $25,000 into the Cost Input box. Then make a note of the changes by clicking the paper icon to the right and typing Tutorial 3 Example as our reminder. Check the Override Annual Materials Cost checkbox and type $100,000 into the Cost Input box. Again, make a note of the changes by typing Tutorial 3 Example in the Notes window. Click Accept to save these changes. Then, 
click the Details of Cost Estimate button to bring up the Details window. Once the Details window is open, scroll down and select Primary Clarifier from the list. Then, under the Design Information section, scroll down to Estimated Costs. Shown here are the estimated costs without the maintenance and materials costs because they have been entered by the user. The last thing we need to do is save our layout. We do this by clicking File and selecting Save As from the drop down menu. We will call this layout Tutorial 3 and click Save. This completes Tutorial 3 of CapDetWorks version 2.5. Thank you for watching this CapDetWorks tutorial. If you are interested in our other software products such as GPSX for wastewater modeling and simulation, ToxChem for predicting toxic fate and emissions, or WattPro for drinking water treatment modeling, you can visit our website at www.hydromantis.com.